Hello everyone, this is Afra from Quick WordPress Websites. In this video, we will see how to create a single or one page website using Astra free theme. So this is the website you are, we are going to create. It's a single page website. Once you click the menu links, it will redirect you to the section of the one page website. You can click each menu. You can see it directly bring the customers to the relevant section. So without wasting time, let's see how to create this beautiful single page website using Astra free themes with free plugins. First, go to your WordPress dashboard by giving WP admin login details. If you want to know how to purchase domain name, hosting and install WordPress, there are separate videos. Please see the description below. So in this WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, click Themes, then click Add New. Here search for the theme Astra. Here the Astra theme is here. Then click Install. Once it's installed, click Activate. Okay, now the Astra theme is installed and activated. After that, we have to install the Astra starter templates. The starter templates are free and premium. So we are going to use only the free version. So here you will you'll see the starter template get started icon is here. Click this get started balloon. Okay, now getting started with starter templates. Go down, click build your website now. So we are going to build our website using Elementor Builder. It's a free builder. So click Elementor. So now we have to select the single page website. So there is a beautiful single page website called Locksmith. So here search the term locksmith. Okay, you will find this is the uh, start template with single page. So select that. Okay, here it will ask upload the logo and other details, but no need to do here. You can do them later. So skip and continue. If you want to change the color scheme, you can uh, change here. You can see when I click the color scheme is changing or else you can keep the default one. This, this also can be done in later part also. Also here you can uh, change the fonts. So we'll keep the default and click continue. Here it will ask the name and email details, uh, fill the form and keep in mind this all these uh, boxes has to be selected. By default those are selected. Then click submit. Okay, it will install the one page website wait for a few minutes wow it's done once it's done you will get the congratulations message so let's click to view the website so view your website you can see your website is created once you click menu items it will bring you to the relevant section so let's see how to completely customize this page and how this menu items created to be visualized in each section okay let's go back to the wordpress dashboard here you can see the Astra theme is here and if you go to the plugins, install plugins, you can see Elementor free version is installed and starter templates of Astra has been employed. Starter templates of Astra in, uh, installed and then also WP Forms Lite also installed. So all things are free versions. So let's edit one by one of our website. Head apart you can edit this title line and this logo and this menu items. For that go to the Word, uh, WordPress dashboard and click Astra dashboard. Here you can see in the quick settings you can edit the site identity, header builder, footer builder, those kind of things you can edit. So let's edit the site identity. So here first you can give a site icon. So let's click this one and you can upload one or you can get from media library. I just put this one. Okay, it will be appear in the new tab as like this. So let's go down and click site title and logo settings. So here if you want to put a new logo, you can change the logo and you can upload your logo. So I upload my logo and click open and select. If you want, you can crop. So I don't want to crop. Skip cropping. And also go down and in the retina logo also you can change. You can change the logo width here. I have given my site title as my Korea portfolio. If you want, you can give some other titles. And if you want to give any tagline, you can give here and publish okay let's see how to edit this bar so you can click this icon here or go to the dashboard and astra 
on the Astra, you can click this header builder. So both ways you can access the same place. Here in this header, in this the top bar is HTML that is here. And this part, this is a button that is mentioned here. And site title and logo we have already edited and primary menu here. So let's edit this always open we work 24 7 click this html so once you click and go down you will not see any text here because it is visual is not visible just click this text now you will see the html code with the letter so no need to worry about the html code just edit this text part so always open we work 24 7 you can edit whatever you want and if you want to edit the heading size this is the h6 size if you want you can make it h5 like this you can change so i edit this via op okay like that we can edit with any text when you come here this is a button so the button can be edited here or else you can edit here as well this button text is called now we have given the contact telephone number so if you want the customers to be clicked the telephone number and automatically redirect them to the uh, telephone directory you have to give the link so how to give the link type t e l and this uh, double dot copy paste your mobile number without spaces okay once you finished you can publish and also you can edit this uh, site title and logo we have already done and this primary menu if you want you can edit here if you want to edit the text those kind of things you can edit here and item dividers those kind of things if you go to design you can give menu hover style menu hover style mean when you move the mouse the color changes underline those kind of things you can give so if you want underline you can give so just publish if you want to edit this menu names and border you can go this configure menu from here and click edit menu so it will bring you to the menu menu area so you can edit the menu name you can drag and drop as a sub menu or main menu so those kind of things you can do the same thing you can access from WordPress dashboard as well. Go to WordPress dashboard, click appearance and here also you can click menus. So here if you have multiple menus, you can select the menu names. Here you have one menu so you can select. Here you can move and drag and drop those kind of things you can do. If you want to change the name, you can edit. So this is the menu URL. This menu URL, URL will be used when you assign the menu to the section so those section will be explained in later part of this video so keep in mind this name it's uh, the same navigation label with hash hash icon without spaces will be used for all this menu item you can do same things so just save this okay this is how you can edit the header part so let's see how to edit each menu items with the sections go to the front page so now we are going to edit this page using the Elementor Builder. So click here, edit with Elementor. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six menu items have been divided into six sections. You can see the section here, this plus icon, this six dots. This is the first section. If you go down, the services, this is the second section. And about us, this is the third section like that all sections goes on so let's edit the first section so if you want to edit this text you can just click this pen icon or here and you can edit the description here you can see there is a icon you can change the icon by uh, from this icon library if you want you can see if you want to edit this text by two lines you can see first line is here and there's a code that is break code br so like in word if you enter it go to next line but in uh, in this uh, elementor built over wordpress you have to use this br so it's already there if you want you can edit other text as well like that you can edit the second part you can click here and you can edit this text and if you want to edit text size uh, height you can edit here this is h1 if you want smaller size h2 like that you can edit and also you can edit the text if you want to put any link you can put here those kind of things you can do if you want to change the color of this text you can go to style go to text color so you can select any color you want just that like that you can update the color 
so this is the first part for column in this region this is the background image so if you want to edit this background image click this three dots and here you can see the section settings and section structure you can see here is a full structure and go to style here you can see the image so this background image is like this if you want you can select this background image and if you want to add overlay overlay you can put shadow like those things you can put border shape divider those kind of things you can do here okay the home section or on the home slider is edited so no need to assign this home slider to home menu because it is by default it's home so let's see the services so when you come into the services section how to assign the services section into main menu for that you have to see this anchor item hang icon here you can see this anchor we just click here you can see in the anchor region you can put services so if you put any menu item without spaces you can put here you can see only id a to z and 0 to 9 will be accepted so this anchor region it separates the section you have to give the name so this is the anchor region if you don't want to put any anchor region you can do it other way go to the sec main section editor edit section go to advanced in the css id you can give the id of the menu item you want to assign so this section going to assign with services so you can give the services name here so both ways it will work so in by default the star theme this one page theme has this anchor option you can click this anchor and you can see the id of the menu anchor that is services so in this services you can edit each contents so let's edit this title so click this pin icon so title you can edit here you can edit the text size so all kind of things you can do if you want to style this you can uh, change the color those kind of things you can do and let's go to the this section when you click this box it's a column layout box if you want edit this layout style those kind of things you can edit then you can edit each images so when you click this you can choose image and you can select the image medium full those kind of things you can edit so it's a large image so each and every column you can do like this and here this is a three column description so where you can click this pen icon edit this title and click this pen icon here there are toggle items so these are uh, elementor toggle widget you can give this kind of clickable toggle items so you can click here so once the customer click they can they can view this kind of uh, description so you can edit this description then go to the second toggle and you can give the description similarly each kind of items you can edit so once you update this you can go and refresh and this is the services area once the customer clicks services they can view the description so similarly you can edit all these kind of things so that is the services part let's go to the next part that is about us once you click this area you can edit this layout and if you want to the advanced section you can give css id as services the menu title so this will come back come to the menu item those kind of works you can do and as we done earlier you can edit this title these kind of things these things and in the right side you can edit the images all kind of things you can do and here also you can visually edit all all contents let's go to why choose us again you can see the anchor section here you can clearly see this why choose us without spaces you have to type that's really important this is the anchor section then you can edit this each title this is a three column one you can edit each columns and the testimonials that is this part you can edit those spaces and text numbers all kind of things we can edit visually so next part is the final part is the contact us so here you can give the contact us this call number this is the title as we done earlier you can copy this title and you can give a link as telephone tl double dot and the number you have to copy paste the number without spaces so once the customers click the number in their mobile browsing it will automatically redirect them to the telephone directory and here you can edit the contact main topic and this is the details i have mentioned earlier you can put icon here you can put icon and the email address 
and this address you can see if you want to put address in two three lines you can put this br break you can put here and come to this messages box you can edit this one this is a column you can edit and if you want to edit this contents let's click this one it will redirect you you to the wp form so you have to edit the wp form the title is contact form so where can i find this contact form you have to go to the dashboard click plugins click install plugins so in the install plugins you can go and find wp form slide and click settings and settings are here on the left side item you can see all forms so click this all forms here you can see the contact form if you have more than one forms you can select the name so in this in the our phone you can see this is the contact form here created so this is the form so click edit okay here you can see the contact form displayed there appearing here if you want un uh, remove the unnecessary items you can just remove uh, click this one if you want to duplicate you can duplicate if you want to add any alt uh, drop down like items multiple choice those kind of things you can drag and drop here there's a separate video on contact form creation with wp forms you can watch there so here i don't go into much details so those kind of things you can do on the settings you can see the notification so once the customers fill the form uh, the email the notification email will be sent to the admin email the admin email is the email is given to the wordpress if you want to change the email where the notification will be delivered you can copy paste the email here and it will be sent the form so the subject line will be like new entry from the simple contact form if you want to put some other names you can put here when the customers fill the form they will get a confirmation message like this thanks for contacting us we will be in touch with you shortly if you want to change this uh, confirmation text you can type your preferred one so those kind of things you can do here so once those editing is done you can save okay the next part is the location so you can edit location so if you marked your location in a google map you can put the address so it will automatically get the location of your uh, google map if you want to add the maps google map api you can click this integration settings you can put the maps api so there is a separate video on how to create google map api so you can watch that and this part also I have explained earlier if you want clickable phone number you can put the link with tl double dot and the contact number and this text you can edit easily let's come to the final part of the video that is editing the footer line so to edit this footer line go back to your wordpress dashboard and click this extra and dashboard here you can see the footer builder so let's click customize okay here you can see copy uh, widget one widget two copyright and social so here there is no widget one or two if you want to add you can add some other things here or else just edit this so this copyright part you can click this copyright you can see the text copyright text within bracket copyrights it will automatically put the current year and the site title and powered by so if you want to edit this copyright text or this powered by text you can edit site title we have already given so our site title will be automatically available here so no need to worry about that on the, this social part you can see the facebook twitter linkedin help those kind of things are there if you want if you don't want some icons you can just click and remove google reviews you can remove and if you want uh, facebook to be linked with your facebook uh, account you can copy paste the facebook link here similarly you can put other things if you want to change the colors you can change the colors those kind of things you can do similarly if you want to add some other icon for example if you want to add a youtube icon you can select here youtube and add social icon so youtube icon is here so then click you can put the url of your youtube channel so i just copied my youtube channel link and paste here and let's publish okay now go to your main website and refresh it and go down and you can see the social media icons are there youtube link is here once you click the viewers will see your youtube channel so similarly you can uh, do with other social media items so this is how creating a single page wordpress website using extra free theme so i have given the link in the free hosting providers with the free domain name so you can test this website and you can train yourself so if you have any queries please leave us a comment so please subscribe our channels and keep in touch thank you very much